Hi guys, today we will create a simple calculator. So let's start. Let's open our Visual Studio. Create new project. Then look for Windows Forms application. Next, simple calculator. Create. Then let's start by designing our form. So let's go to toolbox, text box. Uh, let's change the font to 16. Here. Then let's resize it if you're on this size. Then let's add some button. Let's make this a square. Maybe this this will be button one. So let's change the text to one. Then copy. This is for two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine. Then this will be for zero. Then for the point. Then reset. Then for our addition. Multiplication. Subtraction. Then division. Then this is for our equals so size this now let's fix the text this is three four no, five six seven eight nine zero and then for the point and then our clear button then this should be equals plus then multiply subtract Divide. Let's change the name to BTN add. This one is BTN multiply. Then BTN subtract. BTN divide. Then BTN equal. Then for this one, uh, txt display. Now we can start coding. So we have a uh, for operation plus minus multiply and divide. So let's create our enum to enumerate our applicate our operations. Let's call this operation. Then public enum let's add addition subtraction multiplication division and none now let's go back to our code uh, here let's here, uh, let's declare our double, call our total, then let's equal it to zero, then uh, operation, operation, 
operation equals to operation dot none. Then here, what will we do? We will just add the text to the value of our ext display. So let's do that. Text display the text plus equals button one dot text. We will do this to other buttons. So let's just copy this one, then paste it here. Change the one to two. This is kind of a lot of repetitive work, but there's nothing we can do about it. Or you guys can skip the video if you want, then move it until I'm done with the nine. There's actually nothing special here. Oops, this is five. This is six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And then for for zero. And then for that, oh, what's the problem? Oh, it should be 10. Here, this one is 11. Then this one is the clear button. So, the clear button, uh, what we should do here is just reset everything. So, let's do that. TXT display that clear. Then, Let's set our total back to zero, and then the operating or operation equals to operation that none. Now uh, let's create a method that will handle our computation. Let's do that here: private double compute. Oh, let's change this to a small letter. Then here, let's declare a result equals to txt display. Oh, sorry, rather double dot parse txt display dot text. Then let's check uh, if there's an operation. And if there is, uh, we will execute the selected operation. If operation equal equal to operation dot addition, then here we will do uh, total equals to oh not total it should be result result equals to Total plus let's copy this double dot parse and let's do this to other operation. So here else if, if subtraction then for multiplication. Then division then let's clear our TXT display then return result okay so let's go back to our form here let's just call our total equals to compute then uh, let's set the operation to operation that 
addition. You might be wondering why I compute it first before I change the value of operation. Uh, this is because uh, when we first run our application, uh, there should not be any operation selected. So if that happens, the value of our total will be the value of our text box. So after it got the value of our text box, then we will assign the operation. The next time we click any operation here in our form or we click the equals, it will perform the selected operation that we have here. So now let's continue. Multiplication. So just the same. Multiplication. Do that to subtraction also and in the division. Subtraction. And division. Then for our equals, uh, first we will just execute our equal if there is a selected operation. If none, then uh, we will do nothing. So let's do it. Operation not equal to operation dot none. Then we will show to our TXT display the text should be text equals to compute oh what's going on here the two string then we will set our total to zero and our operation to operation that none Now, I think uh, we already have our code for the buttons and also for operation and the equals. Do we have a code here? Yeah, we already implemented this one. So I think we are now ready to test our application. So run it. So now let's try it. One plus two equals 3 times 3 it should be 9 then let's times oh no uh, let's add 6 then the result should be 15 oh okay then let's clear it then 7 minus 3 divide 2 should be Let's try with decimal. Let's clear it. 7.5 plus 2.5. The result should be 10. Okay. Now our calculator is working. So I think this is the end of this tutorial. So hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.